Now for the exciting bit, to do the 3D echidna. I've um, really cut shapes and for that I just got the stained glass petals and chopped them roughly in half ish. And um, they will just pop in just to create some these amber ones which I might use closer around the face um, and perhaps around the edges. I've put some rough guidelines around the body where I'm going to do the 3D components in sections. So I'll probably start here in the middle and I've used these lines uh, to, I guess, be in line with his face and shape around the sides. I'm not sure if it's a boy or a girl. Um, and the important thing is to clean this off and I'll be using white adhesive. So I've rubbed as much of this Sharpie guideline off. Otherwise, the Sharpie will bleed into my silicon glue. Just something. As you always ask me, what glue are you using, Son? Um, I'm sticking to the Marine Flex. I like the way it works and I like the way it sticks and I'm using the white on this section here. I've got my little baggie at the ready and I'm just going to put lots and lots of glue on yeah, there. I, I guess the aim with these sections is to give it shape and structure. So I'm just going to sort of park these quills, if you like, in rough directions. I don't want them to be like soldiers. It'd be nice if this glue was a bit thicker, but we'll see how we go. Remember, we're experimenting. We don't want soldiers because it is a, like a 3D animal. So just experiment with shape and size. Oops. Oh, well, okay. You want to go there? That's where you go. <laughs> so make sure they're all different. You can stand some up. Oh, I don't know, this glue's not going to be quite thick enough, perhaps. I'm going to add more to it. Because we don't really want to see the glue from the quills. They need to be, it needs to be hidden. So we'll just get those quills going. Because the first round will be the most challenging, of course. Oh, that's a bit better. A bit thicker. Plonk these on. So I've got some leaning sideways, some flat. Give it a 3D look. Though it probably looks like it's about to um, show you all its quills because it's scared of you. So we just keep going like that. And um, as I see a, a little spot that might like something small in there, I can go over here to my um, other slivers that are slightly different colour. Just add some interest in there. See, so already it um, adds interest. Doesn't take much. Um, and lightens it up a bit. Couple down here. And we want to sort of keep it within the shape of our guidelines. And what's the worst thing that could happen? It could fall off and I'll have to re-glue it. So just shape them up, look at them, make sure you've got no tin soldiers there. All nice and clean and white. Right. I could use a clear glue, like um, any of those uh, new polymers that are really, really thick and glucky. This is so creamy, but it's thick enough. We'll see how we go. It just means I won't be able to do lots and lots at the same time. I suspect. Okay, so we can put this one a bit sideways, and then keep going like that. So I'll come back in about, and just poke, poke and prod and push, and hope it stays there. It's really hot today, so the glue's very, very um, soft. <laughs> That's the first segment done, and that was all, I've only been here like 10 minutes. Um, and so what I might do is leave a little gap around here, and I'll probably do a little round of of pale grey grout around there and, and dig out some of that white stuff. There we are, halfway done. I'm pretty happy with how he's looking. Now for the big bit. So it's taken me about uh, 40 minutes to put him all together and glue and go through and 
position so I'll clean out around here and I'll put the little grey grout line around his little face as well just to finish it off so there's a bit of glue to dig out I'd rather have too much glue than insufficient and I'm pretty